Welcome everyone to this uh, live tutorial. So in this uh, video, I'm just going to show you how to um, how to create a special font uh, for a logo or you know for a design. So we will start with this. Um, like I did, I did some customization here on the text and. Uh, and this is really possible in Corel Draw as long as you, you know, you know how to um, how to change a font to objects, and then you can stretch the objects, you can distort the objects or a font. So let's start with um, with changing this font or this word style of word into a custom made font. So the, the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, convert this to a, a curve. So converting this to a curve um, makes, makes the font or the text objects. And uh, it's going to be treated as an object now or a shape. And uh, you can't edit the text anymore, which you say, for example, after we edit it, we distort it, and then suddenly you change it to instead of create, you would say discover so that's kind of different you can't do that anymore so um so the first thing you have to do is you go to objects and then you i would break this apart first uh, so that it would be individual uh, individual letters so i click on break artistic text so that makes your um, your letter separated right and then but we can't distort these letters yet, so we have to select all of the text and then we go to objects and then convert to curves, right? So once you convert to curves, if you notice, I can't edit it anymore, right? If I click on the text tool, I can't edit anymore. So uh, that's because it, these are objects now, right? So now we can uh, we can start now by you know using our creativity and uh, and uh, yeah and distort some fonts. So for example, I'm going to start with the letter T here. So once you click on it, and then you can always go to your shape tool, and then all of this uh, text here will consist of nodes now. So with and and of course, if you got nodes, you can distort right. Control Z. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this going here, right? And then, for example, I want to I wanna move this, you know, this, this lower, you know, this lower line. I'm going to stretch it out. So you can't stretch it like this because it, this one will stretch too, right? But what if I only want this, this part, right? So that's where you click on the shape tool and then select these two nodes and then bring it down okay so while you're bringing it down uh, the best thing to do is you hold down your control key hold it down so that you're gonna have like a straight line okay so for example I'm gonna make it like say for example like like that oops I'm gonna make it straight again so for example here like that okay and then um, now I can uh, and then say for example this one I'm gonna bring it down so I can do that right and I'm gonna extend this some more so I'm just going through my shape tool and then again hold down control to uh, to make it straight right when you're moving the nodes and say for example I want this to be to move forward but only this one I would just select this node and then I would go like this right and say for example this one I'm gonna select this node and then go like this so there's a lot of possibilities now in creating a logo or a design for your text because then you are you can definitely um, you know distort the text now because these are objects now okay so let's say for example here I when I'm going to just bring this part down so make sure to select the node that that you want to move and then bring it down and again hold down control to to make sure that it's gonna be straight like that 
okay so and say you can also um, make this bigger or you can just scale this like this you can scale it just make it bigger right and then you can move this around let's see where we are going what design will we come up with so and then for example here I'm going to make it the same the same width and I'm going to just the same move this again and make this remove the outline and make make the black so now we can really um, yeah play around with the design now so for example this I would stretch it going oops I have to select both say so moving it here make sure to hold down control okay and say for example I want to slice this into you know into pieces here so I'm just gonna create a white white rectangle remove the outline and then I'm just going to go to my plus sign my keyboard and then move this so while I'm moving it hold down control and then control D okay so you can do that and what else can we do here so so yeah so this say in this one too you can really play around with the text here I'm just having fun here hold down control and then so for example this one I can also move this or here right so yeah so that's um that's how you do it i'm gonna do this last one to make it proportion so anyway i'm gonna go move it here yeah so 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 that's it so i'm just showing you that you can you don't need to choose a font that makes it customized you can always create your own own font by distorting the letters or customizing the letters and this is a good way when you want to create a logo or you know text design so yeah so I hope you you learn something with this short tutorial I know it's short but I think I showed you the uh, the potential of making a logo by just distorting the letters so just for a review um, when creating this you have to select the text and then make it a curve uh, sorry separate it first by letters and then convert it to curves convert all the letters to curves well once you convert it to curves these are treated as objects now or shapes so thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I I do live stream daily, and please comment in the dis in the in the description below if you have some uh, comments or questions about the tutorial. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.